Hello and welcome to another Tips and Tricks video, where we will cover the main Edit Elements features. We'll begin with Move Stats. Remember that once commands are activated, you'll see Guidance in the bottom left corner. In this case, the tool asks us to select a stat we want to move. Writing a positive value will transfer the stat to the right, and if negative, to the left when facing an exterior side of the wall. If you are moving studs using the native Revit Move tool, you will notice that after the frame update, the stud will be moved back into its previous position. Unless you move it and then pin it. That way, it will stay there even the update frame is activated. You can restore moved studs that were moved using our tools feature. Simply select the wall, opening or any framing element within that wall and the studs will be restored to their previous positions. However, if you previously moved the stud using the native Revit move tool and pinned that element, it will not be restored since it is pinned to that location. When additional element modifications are needed, the user is empowered with the Trim Extend Multiple Elements to a Face feature, which allows the user to trim or extend elements to a selected face. I'll select the bottom face of the blocking element and then I'll trim this stud to it. Now, to fix the gaps between the blocking elements, I'll use Update Frame command, and as a result, we can see the stud being trimmed to the bottom of a blocking element. Using Trim Extend Multiple Elements, you can select an element that will describe the boundary itself. This time, I no longer need to select the face, but rather the element, and in this case, the selected studs will be extended to it. For elements to be deleted, use the Delete Elements feature. You can activate the command first and delete selected elements, or pre-select multiple elements and then use the command. If needed, activate Update Frame command to fix all the gaps between blocking elements. Keep in mind that if you delete the elements using native Revit Delete feature, they will appear once the update frame command is used. You can restore deleted elements too. Again, select the wall or any framing element within that wall and all deleted elements will be restored. If you need to cut beams that intersect with another beam, you can use one of the highlighted features using Solid or Void. Cut beams with Solid uses the solid geometry within the family for cutting. And Cut beams with Void uses the Void geometry within the family for the cut. It is worth mentioning that the family can have both simultaneously, so the geometry of the Solid and Void may be different, and that is why we have these two options to choose from. In addition, you can cut the beam ends or use them to cut into intersecting beams with one of the highlighted features. Let's say I need to extend a particular element to the trimmer of an opening, and now I see that the end of a beam intersects with a king stud. I can utilize cut with beam ends so the blocking element will be cut into the king stud, or I can use cut beam ends so the beam would be cut at the end of a king stud. And if the user wants to reverse cuts, he can use the uncut beams option, so the elements will no longer be cut and they will intersect each other once again. Using the previous example, we can utilize switch cuts, which will inverse the cuts, either the beam cuts into the king stud or the other way around. 
Thank you for watching and I'll see you in upcoming videos.